If you're getting inundated with tulip stems and need to know the best way to store them to maximize the amount of time you have to use them, then this is the video for you. We're gonna talk about things like bulb on versus bulb off, wet versus dry, and we're also gonna talk about the research that has been performed on this. My name is Jesse. I've grown over 10,000 tulip stems within the past year and a half alone. And inevitably, when you grow that high amount of stems, they're gonna come in at inopportune times, whether it's just a slow part of the season or a few weeks before a major floral holiday or something like a stem bar. So I've done a lot of experimenting on this and I'm here to show you what has worked for me. Now, before we get into the tulip storage specifics, I want to set a fundamental piece out there for everyone, which is proper harvesting stage. If you're not harvesting your tulips at the right stage, it really doesn't matter which method you are employing because you are going to minimize the amount of time you have in the cooler with those stems. So what do I mean? I mean, you need to harvest the tulip right when it's showing color. And as a reminder, this is what it should look like for singles, parrots, and doubles. If you harvest at this stage, you are maximizing the amount of time you can store them. If you are harvesting your tulips that are more colored up or look like they're about to blow open, then you are just merely buying yourself a couple of days in the cooler. And once you take those stems out of the cooler, they will blow open and ultimately have a more compromised vase life. So if you are looking to store your tulips for up to, we'll call it four to six weeks, then you absolutely need to make sure that you are harvesting at the early stages, and if you're looking to just hold your bl blooms for a couple of days, then you could get away with a later harvest. With that out of the way, now let's talk about the research that's been done on this subject. There's a man named John Dole out in North Carolina University, and he has done extensive research on basically storing commercial cut flowers and what is the best temperature and method to do so. So he's done studies on tulips, other bulb flowering types of varieties like lilies, irises, he's even done it on peonies. And he's done subsequent research studies on this. So he's had one published in 2019, a more recent one in 2024. And with the more recent one, what he really looked at was just what is the industry standard of temperature holding versus a better temperature. So the industry standard is to actually hold tulips at 39 degrees Fahrenheit or four degrees Celsius. He wanted to look at if we drop the temperature to sub freezing, so that's 31 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 0.6 degrees Celsius, what would be the impact on vase life? And could something like a tulip even handle that extreme temperature? And the answer was yes. In fact, tulips can be stored at 31 degrees Fahrenheit for up to six weeks with no impact on vase life. And this is with the bulb on. So that's really great news for us because it tells us what that maximum potential can look like if we had these opportune conditions. And this is where the unfortunate piece comes in because I don't know about you, but I have a regular refrigerator. Even friends with walk-in coolers with a cool bot are realistically unable to keep a cooler at 31 degrees constantly. So what that means is that we're unlikely to get the full six weeks out of our tulips, but we can get still a decent storage life out of our tulips. And this is where my personal experiences are going to come in. I found that I can store tulips safely for up to two to three weeks without the bulb. And if it's anything above three weeks, I use the bulb on. So let's actually now dig into bulb on versus bulb off. The reason why you would wanna keep a bulb on when you store tulips is because the bulb still provides some water as well as a bit of sugar for the stem to stay hydrated. But over a prolonged period of time, you're gonna see that tulips even stored with the bulb on are going to look a bit wilty. And that's just because they are dehydrating. So when you rehydrate tulips that were stored with the bulb on, they are inevitably going to rehydrate a little bit faster than those that were stored with bulb off. Now, here's the thing. At the end of the day, if you store with bulb on, you will buy yourself maybe one to two days of extra vase life. The studies, as well as my personal research, shows that this is more important if you are holding tulips for above two weeks or so. Anything below two weeks, you're really not benefiting that much from keeping the bulb 
on. The trade-off with storing with bulb on is obviously it takes a lot of space to store with the bulb on, especially if you don't have a big cooler like myself. I have a regular refrigerator. So I don't store with bulb on unless if I absolutely have to. And my priority is to move those stems as quickly as possible unless if I have so many that I am relying on a floral holiday. So again, you wanna store bulb on if you're looking to store for at least, we'll call it like two and a half weeks to three weeks and anything below that you can definitely get away with bulb off. One common question I get with storing with the bulb is do I need to place them in water and the answer is no. If you're storing with the bulb on you can absolutely dry store with bulb on in the refrigerator. What I would recommend is that you bunch them up into groups of 10 or even 20, wrap craft paper around them so that they remain straight and then put them into the refrigerator. So that way, when you take them out, it's a lot easier for you to rehydrate them because all you have to do is snip off the bulb and then place the entire bouquet or bunch into a bucket of water and let them rehydrate. If you don't do that and store the tulips like this, which I had to do because I ran out of time, the tulips are gonna be a lot more limp when you pick them up and you're gonna have to be more delicate with them, which is going to take more time. Now that we've covered bulb on versus bulb off, let's talk about wet versus dry. And let's assume that we're now talking about bulb off. For me, I like to do wet storage. If I have one room in my cooler and two, I know I am moving those stems within a week and a half at the maximum time frame. If I need to move them within two, three days, it's usually always going to be in water because of efficiency purposes. Whenever you start dry storing tulips, they will wilt after a few days. So then you have to rehydrate them. When you rehydrate those tulips, you need at least six hours for them to rehydrate. So if I have a customer who needs a bouquet on the fly who contacted me, I can go into my cooler for those tulips that are in wet storage and immediately put them together into a mix bunch for them and sell it versus needing to wait for, for the rehydrating of those that were dry stored. Now, that being said, cooler efficiency space is a big consideration. So with everything coming out at once from the field because of the hot temperatures, I realistically don't have enough space in my cooler to do both dry and wet storage, which you can actually do. It's not the most recommended thing to do because you're obviously creating higher humidity when you have a wet bucket in there, but I've done it and it's totally fine. So when you look at this refrigerator space over here, I'm able to fit three crates. Each of these crates can fit about 12 bunches of 10, which is about 120 tulips. These are longer tulips. So if you had shorter tulips, I actually think you could fit maybe around 150 if you're using the, the width of the crate. In fact, I have some daffodil bunches that are in here. So it's technically more than 120 stems per crate. But the point is I can fit a lot more into the refrigerator through dry storage than I ever could through buckets. If I put in buckets, I could put in two big Procana buckets in here. And realistically, each Procana bucket, I might be able to stuff in like 80 stems at the most, which maxes me out at 160 stems. So for that reason, right now, I am prioritizing storing the tulips dry so that I could fit more into this refrigerator. Now, obviously, if you have a walk-in cooler, you don't have those kind of constraints, but for many of us who have just one or two fridges, you might wanna dedicate one fridge for dry storage and the other fridge for wet storage with buckets. Now let's talk about a couple of watchouts when it comes to storing your tulips in a cooler. The first watch out is knowing exactly how your cooler behaves. And in this case, it's a refrigerator for me. I have a sensor. This is a Govi sensor. This is not sponsored by Govi. It really doesn't matter what kind of sensor you use. As long as you have a sensor, you wanna put that in your refrigerator and look at what the fluctuations in temperature and even humidity look like within the fridge in a given 24 hour time frame. When you look at my graph from a week out, you can see there are pretty big fluctuations anywhere from five to seven degrees. So with this current setting, my temperatures can fluctuate up to the mid forties, but even go down to close to freezing. So I've learned to set my cooler at this certain temperature range where I will never get to sub sub freezing temperatures where the tulips will completely freeze, but they're also cool enough where they will still buy me time. 
Every fridge will probably look different. This is a very old refrigerator. It was free. We got it from a neighbor who didn't want it. If you have a newer refrigerator, it might be a little bit more temperature controlled in the sense that you won't have such big fluctuations. But the point is that you need to expect fluctuations. And this is where real life differs from the research because again, we cannot properly maintain a refrigerator for 31 degrees constantly. I think realistically, most people are able to maintain their cooler or refrigerator space anywhere from 39 to 41 degrees. And in my experience, that will safely and confidently carry me for three weeks for dry storage. So I would be comfortable storing properly harvested tulips for up to three weeks in that type of temperature environment. The second watch out to look for is how are your tulips going into the the cooler, meaning are they wet? Now, many of us grow field tulips outside. We are harvesting after a rainstorm or during a rainstorm. And so these tulips are wet. You want to make sure that your tulips are absolutely dry, putting something like a fan to circulate air and getting them dry before you put them into the cooler is really, really key. You don't even want to wrap those tulips before they are dry because that moisture is going to encourage mold. Now, if you're cramming in a lot of stems into a small area, that mold is also going to spread. So you wanna make sure that they are going in dry. Now, I do have a video up here that shows how I effortlessly harvested tulips by basically using leaves as my main cover, which allowed me to not have to really wash my stems. That's pretty big because that saved me a lot of time in post-harvesting by not only not having to wash, but not having to put something like a fan to have them dry. And that's gonna take more time for me to process the tulips. So definitely give that video a watch if you haven't yet, and I'll put that in the description below. I want to end this video with a real life example that many of you might be wondering right now, which is we are in mid-April, many of us are getting tulips in right now, and Mother's Day is just under four weeks away. Can you hold these tulips for Mother's Day? And I'm gonna talk about the considerations and what I would do. So I think that the general answer is yes, you can hold them for Mother's Day. But remember, I said that I would confidently hold tulips for three weeks. We are just above three weeks out. So proper tulip harvesting stage matters a lot here, and I would definitely store with the bulb on to make sure that they have that extended phase life. The only caveat to that is if you're holding them for some sort of event like a shower, a celebration, a party, you don't need to hold with the bulb on because you just need those blooms to look good on that one day, vase life doesn't matter. If you're selling these stems retail and the end customer is that mother who wants to put it on her dining room table and get a long vase life out of it, you absolutely want to be storing with the bulb on. And so herein lies this piece that you need to make a decision for yourself, which is if you only have tulips and you don't have many other flowers, I actually might be a little bit reluctant to just sell straight bunches of tulips to that mom for retail four weeks out because I'm honestly not sure how the vase life it's gonna look. Different varieties are going to be more impacted by longer storage times. So for example, singles are obviously not gonna have as long of a vase life as doubles. So if you have more doubles, then I would feel more comfortable having that in a single bunch for a mother. I would actually consider buying in local flowers to create a more abundant arrangement that's gonna definitely guarantee you a better vase life. Even though tulips have an amazing ability to rehydrate, when they are dehydrated, they will never rehydrate back to 100%. And the studies show that when you have the bulb on, they lose less of the water loss, right? So that means that they are inherently going to have a higher hydration at the end, but it is not enough to not compromise vase life. And we know that even through six weeks, you're really realistically getting at most two, maybe three days of additional vase life with bulb on. Now with bulb off, that means that you're losing potentially up to three days. Tulips already don't have a long vase life. With these temperatures and how warm houses might be, you might be looking at five to six days of vase life anyway. So that's why you wanna be extra careful when it comes to Mother's Day and holding stems out to make sure that you can maximize the vase life for your customer. This is why tulips are one of my favorite flowers. Even though they might seemingly all come in at the same time, they are easily storable for a few weeks, allowing you to spread out the time in which you are using them. Now, 
like I said before, I have a lot of tulips that I grew. So I have a lot of other tulip related content up here in case of you're interested, things like hosting a tulip bouquet bar or even profitability of tulips. So give those a watch. And if this video is helpful for you, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.